Hello everyone, Abdul Muksit here with another tutorial of Procoblog. Today we're going to discuss how you can display form entries or form submission of Jet Form Builder on front end with the help of Query Builder. So let's start. Right now I have a dummy template and a contact us page where I have the form. For this tutorial, you need Jet Form Builder, which you can install from the uh, link in the description. You need Jet Engine, Elementor, or Gutenberg. Once you install Jet Form Builder, you can create forms from here. I already created an inquiry form. Let's check the fields. I have full name, email, and query. Make sure on the right side you choose Save Form Records in Post Submit Action. Let's go back. And from here, you can see form records. These are the submission already done by the users. First thing we need to create a query. Add new form records. In query type, we choose Jet Form Builder Records. It will ask for the form which form you want to fetch. We have one form inquiry form we will choose that now you can filter these record by users also you can directly enter the user id or you can choose from the dynamic tag also like current user and so on for the form records we have two status failed and success you can filter by that as well then we have the date query if you want to check before today or after today or you want to check for the last one week you can choose from here you can use the human readable string as well like today minus seven days it will show the previous week records you can filter it by the fields also so in our form we have three fields name email and query if you want to filter by emails that how many emails are received from a specific users you can click on add new here we specify the field for example email and then we have the comparison operator equal to value like my email and we choose the type as character so it will show all records which belongs to the specific member or email let's close it we have show per page it will show the the pagination that how many records on the listing grid you want to show per page and we have an offset also from if you want to start from 0 or from 10 and so on. Let's create the query. The next step is to create the listing item. So we will go to listings. Add new. And from post here we will choose query builder from listing source. And we will choose our form records. Single form. Let's edit it with Elementor. Let's take a section and I will simply drag a heading. Okay. In the dynamic tag, you can choose Jet Form Record field, and here it will ask for the key or for the field name. Let me type full underscore name. So it shows my name. Let's duplicate it and change it to email and so on you can show all the records from here other than that you can use dynamic field also which is more flexible let's take dynamic field we will choose post term and user you can scroll down and choose jet form builder okay so i need a record id this is a record id let me customize the field output id Let's take a duplicate and let's choose the submitted date okay it shows the date you can also choose to change the format of the date let's make it human readable so 57 minutes ago let's take another duplicate this time we will choose the form fields but the form field is an array you have to filter the output by 
field value count a uh, field value this one get child element from array here it asks for the child item so let me enter full underscore name so this is my first field i will change the label all right let's take a duplicate email and the query I'll make it bold and let's update our listing now we will create a page where we can display those form submissions. Let's go to pages, add new, form submissions. I will take a listing grid and I will choose single form. So I have two records, I can choose the column to be and publish now one thing need to be mentioned here that these forms are usually on private page or you have to do it inside profile builder of jet engine so public cannot access the pages so we have our two records here now let's let's display the same information with the help of table builder which is more flexible for the records i'll go to jet engine and table builder if it is not enabled by default you can go to jet engine and enable it from here so we will have a dynamic table let's go to table and create a new table i will name it form and here we will use the form record as a source let's fetch the data and I will define some columns for name let's choose the raw value fetch column and field here I will filter the column and use the same return type and here we define the child item let's fetch the information so we have full name and two records let's define the rest of the two fields email let's filter the output get element from array email and let's take a duplicate from here and we'll make it query and this one query let's display the data perfect let's align the table title of the table to the left side left left and left let's preview the data so everything seems fine let's create the table I will go back to the page where we display our submissions let's click on edit here I will add dynamic table okay In dynamic table I will choose form and my records are here let's update and let's preview So my data is here. This is as per the listing grid and these are display as a table. So this was a short tutorial on how you can display the form submission from backend to frontend. If you have any question, please write in the comments. Thank you so much.